SR93 boxing back with a quick video. A boxer by the name of Mike Towell passed away yesterday or I, I don't know exactly when. He was in a critical condition and he, he was in the hospital. I watched the news and it just says he passed away. I see some of the articles to have a quick research about it. He's he basically basically had a lot of bleeding in his head, in his brain rather. Yeah, yeah. As I'm reading it now, Mike has severe bleeding and swelling to his brain. He has been complaining about headaches for the last few weeks, weeks, but we put it down to migraines with the stress of his fight. Yeah, so that's basically I don't know who's saying this. Someone in the camp or probably his wife. Now, sometimes, I, two things I want to say about this. One thing is when pain is in your body, it's not always good to ignore it. And I always believe that someone has pain somewhere, it's a sign of your body telling you that you're, you have a problem somewhere. And a lot of people don't listen. He didn't listen. He went in there. I mean, his team went in there and he fought. And you know, if anyone like pain is basically if pain is not always weakness leaving the body. Pain is a sign for your body to tell you if the pain is not right. It's a sign of your body telling you that there's something wrong. And it's crazy. It's crazy. You know, it's, just imagine. We've well, there was one thing I can't remember exactly where I said this. Oh fuck it! I forgot as well. I keep forgetting things. But yeah, he yeah he got dropped in the first round, in the fifth round, but he was taken to the uh, ambulance with a stretcher and an oxygen mask. So I guess he had problems breathing or whatever. It was explode. Um, I don't know how, what the how the fight was. I didn't really watch the fight. I didn't. Really, I didn't. I don't actually know about this guy. But you know, yeah, whatever. You know, he passed away. The thing I want to say is, just imagine you have a person. Just, just, I want you to, like, imagine this yourself. I don't want you to tell anyone this. Just, just imagine. I don't want you to tell about anyone. So, okay, I'm imagining this and that. No, just be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Yourself. Imagine you have a member of the family who passed away, like this. The, the feeling, the emotion that goes with a family member passing away. Cannot be replaced. And nothing can. You know, of, nothing can really uh, make up for it. To be honest, if you think about it, nothing can really make up for it. So when these fans, and guess what? You look at these um, video. You look at these videos. If anyone, too many people made the videos. No, not really. Few people made videos on YouTube. It's crazy because you know what the fans really care. Fans don't really care about people dying. They just want to see action packed fight. Whoever suffers, whatever, you go home on your own. That that's the attitude, that's the attitude amongst fans. You, know, you you do whatever you want. We don't care. We just want to see the action. We just want to see, like who cares if people are, it's a bloodbath. We just want to see it, right? Fans are not doing anything else, and this is one of the reasons when Victor Ortiz broke his jaw, I as a fan did not like mind that he quit. I didn't mind to be honest. I didn't even mind that he quit against Maidana, because yeah, I I do respect someone having a bigger heart, but. At the end of the day, whatever, he did what he wanted to do. Like, he, he, he was in the... You know, I, I would have probably quit as well because I don't think it's worth it. But that's not me. I'm not a fighter. I guess a fighter should fight till the end, but at the same time, this is one of the reasons why... I don't mind... I don't really insult Victor Ortiz for quitting too much. As I said, I, I do respect in the heart of Timothy Bradley, the heart of Marcus Madonna, Meccano's heart as well. A lot of fighters have heart, but... Man, I don't really criticize people for not having that type of heart. I really don't. I mean, not too much, man. I, it, it gets, you know, we do want to see an action pack fight where people give their all out, but if they don't, I don't mind. Because I know the, because I do, I do try to understand the pain that comes with these people, the suffering they have to go through. But look at this here. How many people are making videos about this? Not many because they don't care. Fans don't care. How many people, when that video is made, and you know, some boxers are talking about this rest in peace, uh, Mike Towel. I know I may can't make this on his Twitter, but how many people are responding to this? Not many. You know, how many people are even responding like in comments?
to these videos, to the few videos that are being made, or even to the articles where uh, where it mentions that Mike Towell has died, or whoever, no one really cares. No one gives a fuck. And that's that's the cold truth. And that's why, this is why fighters don't really give too much of a fuck about fans. Because finding about, to be honest, like, I'm a fan, but I'm a realist. I try to keep it real. None of these fans give a shit about these fighters. It's like, you know, it's like you, um, a guy, if, if a person wants another and someone else for having um, sexual intercourse, they just don't care about the other person in any way, shape or form. Like, they don't care about their well-being, their health, nothing. And all you want them for is some entertainment. That's all it is. Fighters are kind of like that as well. Most fans don't care about the, um, the fighters' health, well-being, um, nothing, nothing. They just want the fighter to give them some entertainment. Just like a, you know, if if a, just as I said, like if a person wants uh, sexual intercourse from someone, that's all they want. That means they they just want them for a type of entertainment. Same with fighters. Fighters are getting pimped by the fans in a way. So that's kind of what I really have to say. Rest in peace to Mike Towell. Um, I hope these sort of things don't happen again. These little little pains that fighters have, they need to really because fighters come with all the niggles and um, and pain and things like that. But you know, I think they need to really look, especially if it's like head, lungs, heart, things like that. They need to really look into it because you know when a person dies, a lot of people dies mentally as well with them, um, the families and things like that. And I think your life is more important than everyone else's. So. Yeah man, that's what I think, box. I'll be back with a quick video soon.